A new update in Leonardo AI has arrived. Actually, two updates. Flux has arrived, plus an upgrade to their current best model, Phoenix. Both Flux Dev and Flux Schnell are both available and ready to use right now. Thanks, Eric. Now, Phoenix 1.0 has improved aesthetics, whereas the introduction of Flux, Flux Dev specifically, is amazing at high prompt adherence and high fidelity results, whereas Flux Schnell is best for rapid image generation. And stay tuned because we're also sharing an incredible prompt generator. This will generate the most realistic editorial style photos. And it's actually not stopping there, apparently, because Leonardo AI also states that there is actually a lot more on the way. Now, to really show you the impressive difference in these new updates, let's make sure we test some of the best prompts that really showcase the best details. And so for that, we're going to head over to my Leonardo AI Ultimate Prompts database. And that is where we are right here. Now, in this database, new prompts get added to it almost every single day. Get a discount code in the description. And in these first few rows, I already have images generated with both 1.0 Phoenix and also Flux. As you can see right off the bat, if I expand this one, look at this. Look how good of a job it does in accurately showcasing text and words in addition to the realism of these actual images. And in this image right here, I know she looks a little bit crazy, but the most impressive aspect of this is that my prompt actually said GTA in bold white text. So notice I didn't actually say include the words Grand Theft Auto, but just by using the abbreviation GTA, it was able to determine that I was talking about the actual video game Grand Theft Auto. And notice the word Words. Everything is perfectly done in which that is one of the key differences in these new updates. Better prompt adherence and these prompts specifically for text is going to be a lot more accurate. In which you could even see it on this one right here where the word flux, it's perfect. These rows, flux looks perfect. The words look great. And then even in these ones down here, specifically where I do say subscribe, in the actual prompt to make sure it actually states that. Again, spelled 100% accurately. But with that said, let's go ahead and try this and put this to the true test. But to start, and with like any new update in any of these tools like Leonardo AI, let's start with a really amazing prompt generator. A prompt that will generate prompts, but this one is incredible because it is specifically orchestrated to give you some of the most realistic looking images you'll ever find. That's because in this prompt generator, it's gonna use specific cameras and lenses in order to get images that look like these. So far, these may be hard to beat. And that is because of these specific prompt generators. We are going to let AI, in this case, ChatGPT, do all of the work for us. So to start, let's go ahead and open up this one right here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and then copy this whole entire thing. Then we're gonna head to ChatGPT, paste this in and get some incredible looking images and prompts. But first, let's go ahead and head over to Leonardo AI and start the process of an image creation just to see what we can get with some of these most impressive prompts we just took a look at. And this one right here is actually one of the ones I've been wanting to try the most, okay? So here are the original images created with just Phoenix, but now let's go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt, okay? But here's the thing, we're gonna add one more thing in this prompt because I wanna see how good of a job it can do in in creating text. So right here in the first few sentences, I'm going to go ahead and add this. I just simply said with the word parentheses hero in all bold letters. Okay. So with that said, right now we are currently in Phoenix 1.0 for our style. Let's go ahead and go with dynamic. And now we're going to generate this one, leaving everything the same. We're now going to head over here to our newest models. And we're going to also try this in flux dev, make sure flux dev is selected again. I have everything from dynamic 3D render all the way down to watercolor and portrait, okay? So for this one, let's go ahead and then leave this one in dynamic as well. And then again, one more time, we're gonna do it in Flux Schnell. Okay, so Phoenix 1.0, very good. But the most important part is that there is the absence of words. My text actually didn't get entered in here with 1.0. Now Flux Dev, on the other hand, now this did a phenomenal job. The word hero is perfect. And I love how it actually put it on the hero's chest. Whereas in this one, it's in that bokeh sort of faded background 
this one looks phenomenal as well. And then look how good of a job Flux Schnell did. Man, these did phenomenally well, and including this one right here. Let's go ahead and copy this whole thing like this. I also want to open up this one right here. This was done in Vision XL, and I've always been so impressed with how these turn out. Now, just one quick reminder, all the prompts I'm sharing in these videos today, make sure to check the links in the description for the most amazing prompts and databases. But for any prompt, anytime I share a prompt generator or some specific prompts, those will always be free for anybody to use with the links in my description, which will go to an actual blog post on my website. Head back over and look how good of a job this Flux Dev one did. Wow, this is impressive. Now, I didn't include words to be used in this one, but just right off the bat, these images look fantastic. Let's hover over this one. And while we're making these other images, let's get some motion generated. But now let's really take things up a notch. And remember, as mentioned earlier, I want to show you this amazing prompt generator. You're going to be so impressed with what this thing can do. So again, copy this whole entire thing. Because anytime you utilize a prompt generator, that just basically means that you need to first put the actual prompt into an LLM like ChatGPT, Claude, etc. So in this case, we're going to head to ChatGPT. And so here we are. And right off the bat, here is the full prompt I just pasted in. Below is a list of the best cameras and lenses for creating stunning, realistic, award-winning editorial photos. And it's going to basically provide you with the most amazing cameras, lenses, etc in order to get some very high quality editorial style magazine photo shoot images. But not only is it gonna give you the specific camera or lens to use, it's also gonna provide the actual prompt. So look, as I scroll down right off the bat, look at all of this information it's gonna give us. From number one, I get this Canon. It tells me what it's best used for, and then it provides a lens as a complement. okay? And now look at this, the full prompt. It gives us the subject, and then it gives us the camera and the lens to be used. As we continue to scroll, it's going to continue this process over and over again, both giving me a camera, a lens, and a prompt example to use. And as we scroll down, it's going to give us not one, not two, but seven different lenses, cameras, and also prompts to use. And so I did do this a little bit earlier just to show you some final results. Look how good of a job this did. Now, this first row was in Leonardo Phoenix 1.0. Let's take a look at these that were created in Flux Dev. Incredible, fantastic. Okay, that was the first one and not even for the best camera. So like I said, what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy a few of these, okay? I will put all of them into Leonardo AI. Then I'm gonna show you how good of a job these actually turned out. Now, I went ahead and used most of these in ChatGPT from this prompt generator, okay? And I wanna show you the specifics on why this does create such good-looking images. So as an example, let's look at the Sony Alpha 7RV. It gives us the details, high res for magazine covers and spreads. As we scroll down, Okay, we have the Nikon Z9 action shots, but then one of the best ones is going to be this one right here, the Hasselblad, because this has unrivaled image quality, specifically for luxury and beauty editorials. You're going to see why this prompt generator does do such a good job with ultimately giving you the best prompts that will generate the most realistic style editorial images. Let me show you how Phoenix did redeem itself with the accurate text and how good these actual images look with this Star Wars design. Okay, so I'll open this one up right here. You can see this was also Phoenix 1.0. And then look, it got the text right. Really good looking image. And then we have this one right here in Schnell. This is Flux Schnell. Pretty good. But then over here in Dev, Dev really does seem, Flux Dev really does seem to excel with the combination of an awesome looking image with the accurate text and words. Look at this, Star Wars and the image is everything I was wanting. Okay, going to the next one, this one as well in dev. Phenomenal job. So you can see that when it comes to the combination of a high res image plus accurate text, it looks like Flux Dev is gonna win out just by a little bit. And then finally, take a look at this right here. Here is the motion I got from that image. Phenomenal job. But this one is where it really started to shine for me. This close-up image where the fine details, her eyes, eyelashes, just really just pop out. Look how good of a job this one actually did right here. And so this one was done in Phoenix 1.0. And now we have the same exact prompt, but now this time in Flux Dev. And so this one was also in Phoenix 1.0. And the adherence on this one was just perfect because the prompt was specific for a high-end luxury style of clothing and photo shoot. 
Same prompt again in Flux Dev, and this one did perfect as well. So Flux Dev and Phoenix 1.0, incredible updates. Remember, check the links in the description. But thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.